Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back on the series Learn Scripting from Zero till Advanced in ServiceNow. So in the last session where we have seen what is client side, what is server side and what are the different types of client side. If you have not checked that video, you can go back and check the link in the description below. Even I will put that video on the i button. So in the last class we have seen one scenario on the on route functionality of client side. And where we have created a on the fly one requirement when the incident is loaded i should see the description field as mandatory and alert box with a welcome message on the top so we have written two lines of code now today we will see much more scenarios on this client side so let me make this active and let me save this and let me create another scenario for you so let me remove this and let me open the incident table we click on all yeah and new so as i mentioned on load will always work on the form side so if you have a form on load will work on submit will work and on change will work so basically there are four types of client script on load when the page is loaded you can see welcome incident table is coming up and it become mandatory so when the page is loaded at that time you want to apply your logic via scripting that is called your on load so how you can load the page you can click on this reload button or right click reload the form now second type was on change which we will discuss in the upcoming session but as of now let me create another requirement so the requirement is when the page is loaded i want to set this sort description field with some value let's say demo value so how we can do that so this is very simple guys so what you have to do is as i mentioned in the last class you have your whatsapp account from whatsapp account one you are sending the messages to your friend what you are doing you are either sending a message or receiving a message message can be in the form of anything your text message your image your pictures attachment those are called messages only but the formats are different similarly in service now either you can send the value set the value or you can get the value set value means i want to set this short description with some value random value so there will be a word called set so convert your requirement into normal English. So the requirement is, let me write it down. When the page is loaded, loaded on the incident table, set short description as text, as client script learning. Okay, this should be my text over there. How we can do that is very simple. If you want, you can note down this or you can take a snapshot of this video. You can stop here and you can try by yourself. Just you have to type O there and you just type G underscore form. As I mentioned, what is G underscore form? G underscore form is nothing but it is an API which will take you to the form view of the incident table. So let me zoom it. I hope it's now clear. Yeah. Z underscore form in the layman if you don't understand any language the layman is like glide g is for glide means move to the form on incident table so if i move to the form incident table what we can see we can see the entire table in front of our screen and we can do our we can apply a logic as simple as that if you want to make any field mandatory visible and read only do whatever you want let me do that g underscore form just type and just use dot as I mentioned, this box is called intelligence or intellisense box in service now. What I told you, either you can set a message or receive a message. Similarly, just type set. Once you type set, you will get all these four options only available in service now. Five, six. See, set value is there. Set the value of the field which you want. Just enter it. And now it is mentioning here over here what field you want to set and what should be the value of it. And whether the value is, what will the display value? You can ignore this part. Just focus only on this part, field name and the value and both in the form of string. It means that I have to put a double quotes let, or single quote. Let me show you. So which field name? So I want to set sort description field name. So how to get the field name? Right click. The backend name is short underscore description. Always remember you have to use the backend name. So just use short underscore description okay comma they're asking you to set the value so what is the value 
let me go back to my requirement cs learning copy this and hard coding it over here and just put a semicolon i am again repeating just see here g underscore form dot set value you will notice field name field name is short description and what is the type string that's why it is in quotes value string that's why it is in quotes so remember this technique just save it and just refresh the page you will notice when the page is loaded sort description will be set with a value called cs learning in front of your screen this is one example i have shown you can set at any place let's say you want to set a category antivirus email internet application or you want to set anything else you can do that i guess from here i have to use category yeah you want to set software nothing just go here to your script just type here g underscore form form dot set value what is the field name of the category you can go back and check right click the back name is category just use category comma and what value you need you need a value called software so just type software now again what should be the back name of software how we can check it so you can right click it configure your dictionary okay go to the dictionary of it as we mentioned in my session when i created a table you can go back and check that session also how to get table all the entry is available on the dictionary because table is a dictionary and inside dictionary you have a word words are nothing but your columns so this is all we have discussed so you can go back and check that recording and see come down choices and the back end name of software is small software so what we will use small software instead of capital software because this is just a label label can be anything but the value should be used always so we'll go back and type here soft where see what will happen when the page will load i will just modify the cs learning with lovey you can follow me on instagram as well right uh so refresh the page now what you will notice category is changed to software and cs learning with ravi so on the fly on the onload part this is happening this is called onload so this is how you will do it let me remove this and let me create a last uh, description for you or last scenario for you on the onload side so my requirement is when the page is loaded i want in the alert over here in the alert i want incident number to be displayed over here okay so i am writing a requirement so on the alert box i am in need of displaying incident number plus category and short description to be blink five times in yellow color i am repeating my requirement the requirement is when the page is loaded alert box should be displayed on the top with incident number and category and this short description to be blinked five times let's say four times when the page is loaded in yellow color how we can do that with the help of clients very easy very very just you have to exclude service now client side so let's go back over here yeah i am deleting everything just type here alert okay inside the alert i am writing a statement incident incident number is now here is a catch how i will get the value of number which is available over here how we can get the value guys always remember as i mentioned you can either set the value or get the value so there will be a word called get value for sure so just use we just type it here g underscore form you have to play with g underscore form only dot get just type get value return value of a specific field if i use get value it's asking you from which what field you want i want a field name number in the form of string see again i am typing return string see number 
that's it this will give me the value but it should be an alert box so what i will do is i will copy this or cut this and paste it over here still it is giving me an error sign i will tell you why so instead number is one space and just the value of it but why it is giving me error guys always remember to join two things together this is string and this is value here what we will get here we will get incident number 1004041 whatever it will be the new number we are having a string and we are having value now we will join it we will join with the help of a operator called concatenation operator so plus sign you can put it so what i am going to do over here is string and the value for example let me show you in another way so okay let me open this let's say ravi ravi is a string okay and i want to add 1 2 3 to ravi so what will be the end result ravi 1 2 3 in the form of string okay now what if i want ravi 1 2 3 plus 1 2 3 it will be 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay so you can add number with number string with string so string with string string with string number with number number with a string and vice versa so your wish how you are going to do it so how we can use with the help of plus operator that is called your concat concatenation joining two things concat to join see what will happen incident number is and i will give a plus sign it will return me the value but here my requirement isn't over let's go back to the requirement plus category obviously i should get a category over here so whatever the category it should give me so plus one space i will give over here one space over here and then i'll copy the same thing category okay whatever the category will be there when i load the page it will display me in the alert box come down and what i have to do is i have to flash three times or i have to blink three times or four times short description in the red format or we can do that so guys always remember there is a word called flash g underscore form so see i am keep on repeating this term g underscore form is always used dot flash now what flash will do click enter just just click enter you will notice I have to provide the color, I have to provide the count, and I have to provide the widget name. And what is this widget name means? So this is the important catch, guys. If you miss this, you won't be able to understand. So what is widget name means? Over here, if you notice, these are present on the incident table. And well name is short description. So incident is a widget, and the widget name is short description. So widget is nothing but a placeholder where all your columns, all your data is present. What is placeholder again? A place where you store your information. So if you type here widget in Google, widget service now, you will see a definition. Let me put a definition. Okay. okay. Definition. Yeah. Enter it. This is your reusable component which make up the functionality of portal page. Portal is nothing but your front end of your service now. So we can reuse it and how it is defined? Your table name and your value. So what I will use, see. I'll go to the client script. I will use in the value of a string. Incident is my table name dot short underscore description. Make sure that the spelling is correct. Now I should know the color of red. What is the color of red? color of red is red only my bad what should be the colored code of red so how to find the colored code of red so go to google just type here hexadecimal colored code so always remember we have a hexadecimal colored code available for all the records you can see for red we have this one i'll copy this from google only go back put this in this part comma and count so let me put zero count as of now and let me save it so let's see how it works refresh the page you will notice 
on the alert box i will get incident number is 100104 and the value is inquiry okay and you will notice one time red is blinked two times basically so zero means two times so what will be the value of 1234 that can also you can see here if you put minus 4 what can happen save it and refresh the page 1 2 3 4 4 times it blinked so always remember if you give a value in minus that will be counted 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 now what will happen if i press 4 instead of minus or if i use 4 instead of minus this i am using 4 refresh the page yeah so it it not to display the content so always remember from 0 till minus you can use the count so here it is ulta ulta means opposite over here we have minus 4 minus 5 if i use minus 5 minus 3 see what will happen refresh the page it will display it minus uh, three times if you use minus 1 2 3 so guys this is all your own load you can do whatever you want with the help of g and s code form and uh, in the next session we will see about on change on some bit functionality so for till then stay connected and can practice the content so the assignment which i am going to give you is let me write it down over here you can try this assignment so when the page is loaded display the state value value i'm writing on the form on the alert box and set a short description short description as incident number should be present over there plus category value plus your uh, channel so over here on the incident table we have channel also so it should be something like this inc 00 whatever is there copy okay then you have inquiry and you have a channel let's see if there is a channel called chat so it should display you chat so like that we have to display it so i will be giving you this assignment you can try this and let me know in the description box if you have done it in the next session we will tell you how to do this so stay tuned guys in the next video we will read about different types of client script and stay tuned thank you so much